I ignore the cat. Ignore it. The operating room is never accessible after an operation. Typewriter. Exit. There's no way I'm leaving until I find what Fuller is hiding. I can't just give up. Is everything all right, Ethan? Yeah, I just... I know I should go. I will work until late. Oh. All right. I don't get why they have us waiting so long. Almost no patience here. Maybe I missed something in the Hawkins, in the Hawkins wing. Aha. Intoxication from breathing organic vapors. Well, that didn't do much. Another insomniac. I should find the cause for such a widespread trouble. Just sleep a bit more. I, I don't think tapping his IV is working. That's right. This is this is this is the guy with the it's turning into an octopus. Everybody says it. She's a witch, an old hag. I didn't make this up. And Elizabeth? You all right? Ah. Why is this room in such a state? Because, as always, I'm cleaning it by myself. And the water was once again shut off this morning. I had to bother Mrs. Donovan again, giving her a new excuse to belittle me. Do you really need Mrs. Donovan to open a valve? Why not ask the janitor? I can't make these decisions without her approval. Imagine if there were a leak. Then it'd be Anyhow, the janitor's the fault. The room is locked half the time. The janitor's job so to keep it from happening in the first place. Off, I have to go and endure her reproach until she's settled the problem. I see. Courage, Elizabeth. Thank you, Doctor. Ah. That's how I distract her. The fuck are these? Is this how you bathe an insane patient? You strap him in a wooden box? Grab the fire hose? <laughs> All right, I guess I have business in the boiler room now. Well, it's nice to see his jacket is alive, or his robe. The door to the boiler room is locked. I have to get the key if I wish to get rid of Donovan. 
Hmm. Ah, the janitor might have it. Mr. Janitor. Don't go falling over. That would be stupid. Watch out for the water, Doctor. All right, maybe not. Do you have the key? We're running out of this medicine. I know it once again. Can't you do anything? Donovan takes her instructions directly from Dr. Fuller. I'm afraid I can do nothing about it for the moment. Huh. Do you have the I key? I have time for you, Doctor. You'll find out that it's not Fine. only the doctors who have things to do. Yeah. Two doctors in this entire fucking place and I can't do shit. Do you have the key? Thank you for your help, Doctor. Thank you. Aha. Would you know where the key to the boiler room is? Betty didn't put it back in its place? Well, she took it to lock the door. I'll ask her. Thank you. I'll be going. You, Betty? Please. The fewer interruptions there are, the fast. All right. You're an unnamed nurse. Um. Do you want something? It's not you. Well, I can't even speak to you. Huh? Oh, found it. I never, I never searched this desk, did I? The key to the boiler room. All I have to do is shut off the water and hope Donovan takes the bait. I, uh, like an idiot, I didn't search the desk. Oh, good lord. What the fuck is all this? The hell? What the f- It's a fucking mess in a, a mess of pipes in here and- They're patched with cloth. I can't shut this with my bare hands. I need a tool. Well, a lot of them over here. I don't think any of them are it, though. If I find some sort of pipe wrench. find a pipe wrench. In the kitchen? Ah, it's one of those places where the doors open both ways. Am I making soup in here with a pipe wrench? Oh god. I'm turning the brightness up. There you go, that looks better on OBS now. Still gonna be too dark probably on... on, on YouTube though. Uh. 
Dr. Colden. I'll be going. Ah. Aha, monkey wrench. I feel guilty about Elizabeth, but I need the diversion. It's temperamental, if I understand correctly. I just need to wait for her to try and use the water. Maybe. Dr. Colden, might there be a problem with the water? I have to talk to her. I was her. about to mention it. It seems it's been cut off yet again. I can't take this, Marie. I feel I'm gonna burst. It's not your fault if we have defective plumbing. And yet, I'm the one who gets punished because I'm gonna have to square off with that annoying old witch. Courage, Elizabeth. Here we go. And hold your tongue this time. Why are you going that way? Oh, oh, she's in there now. At last, the missing files must be hidden here. The Stendhal syndrome, of course. This is where Fuller found his diagnosis for Francis Sanders. A study of the Stendhal Syndrome, a particularly rare medical illness, subjects display mental disorders linked to an exposure to works of art. Hmm. The cabinet looks like shit. Hmm. Something is wrong with these masts. It's some sort of puzzle. Oh shit. I've unlocked Aha. something. Patient files. I was right. Sarah Hawkins' interview. This cylinder was hidden inside Fuller's office. He recorded his thoughts about one of the many psychoanalysis sessions he submitted Sarah Hawkins to. Let's have a listen. Conclusions. Session number 17. Patient? Sarah Hawkins. The patient appears to have finally accepted the This finger belonged to a woman. Why keep it here? It goes without saying that these peculiar delusions are the price that comes with the other hidden things. Why is Ethan on medication? Why does Dr. Fuller write psychological reports about Sarah Hawkins? But I found nothing to 
to explain Mrs. Hawkins' abilities. Ah. The poor souls downstairs are not Fuller's only subjects. Then James came. I'm right. That Charles was keeping secrets from him. I presume that he will try to break into the basement sooner or later. I am prepared. Hawkins, Fitzroy and Fuller. What is the connection between these three? It is fortunate that I had the presence of mind to set the mall in the basement. When all the Orgs are usually in basements. The incident finally comes to an end, I will dispose of her belongings. In the meantime, they must remain hidden in plain sight. Huh? Aha. Of course. Sarah Hawkins is the connection. Oh. I must go back to the basement. I should go another way. Leave it open. Prison break! Or in this case, psychiatric ward break! Oh god, this is so depressing. Also, I think the elevator is stuck. Oh, I hear things. Uh. Ah, now that's the Marie that I know. Fuck. I knew I could count on your scientific curiosity. It's time to show you oh. what you were so eager to discover. If you're gonna shoot me, at least have the decency to look me in the eyes. Turn around. Oh, he's alive. Slowly. Talk, filthy thief. Oh, I swear I'll shoot. Um. Take a minute to look around. Everything points to Charles Hawkins. He's dead. No. He was here for a very specific item. Oh, no. The book. Why was it in the safe? Have you read it? Answer the question. How foolish of you. Now you won't be able to escape his will. What did it show you? What, I don't know that, but okay. She went into Fuller's office. She was looking for Sarah Hawkins' corpse. Sarah Hawkins, you say? Let's go back to the start, shall we? Whose life did the Necronomicon choose to show you? Dr. Colden. She was at the Riverside Institute. She's in danger. I have to go. Wait. 
No one knows the occult better than me. You might need my help. Fuck it, why not? All right, all right. I might need you after all. Perfect. Let's meet later at the Hawkins Mansion. Now go! Rescue the Doctor! Thank you, Drake. Ka ka. Or if you're playing a Lego Batman game, it goes quack like penguins. Little, little side note there. Little, little fun fact for you. <laughs> <laughs> 